Hello, and welcome to another Backpackies video. Today, we're going to help you answer the question, what size backpack do I need? If you are shopping online for a backpack, picking the right size can get confusing because you don't have the bag in front of you, so it's harder to tell if a backpack will be too big or too small. This is where backpack capacity comes in. Most brands will list the backpack capacity online to give you a better idea of what can fit inside. Backpack capacity is usually measured in either cubic inches or liters. In this backpack size guide, we're going to focus on liters because it's more common. On Backpackies.com, we like to break down backpacks into a few different size categories. Small would be any backpack under 19 liters. Medium backpacks are between 20 and 29 liters. And large backpacks are between 30 and 39 liters. In this backpack size guide, we're only going to focus on sizes best for everyday carry. Think of a backpack you would use for school and college, work and commuting. In my opinion, Backpacks over 40 liters are usually too large for everyday carry, and those larger sizes are best reserved for travel, hiking, or backpacking. Now let's start with small backpacks under 19 liters. Backpacks under 19 liters usually have a few things in common. First is that the smaller the capacity, the smaller the backpack usually is. So you will see a jump in size as you increase the capacity of the backpack. The second common feature is that the laptop carry is going to be limited with these smaller backpacks. For example, many backpacks 14 liters and under may only fit a 13 inch laptop or even just a tablet. So keep that in mind if you're looking at buying a smaller backpack. Overall, small backpacks under 19 liters are considered an essentials only backpack size. Just to give you an idea, Here's what fits inside the 13 liter Able Carry 13 Day Bag. A large pair of headphones, one sweater, a small book, only one one inch binder, and up to a 13 inch laptop inside the padded sleeve. And bumping it up to the 16 liter Day Owl backpack, the main compartment can fit just about the same with an additional binder and water bottle. The key takeaway for backpacks under 19 liters is compromise. You may be able to pack for an overnight stay or carry a few large books and binders, but you won't have enough room for both at the same time. I can recommend backpacks under 19 liters for anyone who needs a day bag to carry just the essentials. These backpacks also make great tech bags because they usually have enough room for items like a laptop, tablet, and accessories with room for a few more essentials. Moving on to medium-sized backpacks. These are bags between 20 and 29 liters. With medium-sized backpacks, you're more likely to see larger laptop sleeve sizes, usually around the 15 and 16 inch laptop size range. You're also going to see more room for larger items like camera gear, extra clothes, and large books. Here we have the 20 liter GBY ultralight laptop day pack, which can fit one pair of large headphones, two hoodies or sweaters, one small book, one water bottle, two one inch binders, and a laptop. As we move up in size, the 25 liter Herschel Little America can fit all of the previous items with the addition of a DSLR camera insert. While backpacks around the 20 to 24 liter range are great for daily carry backpacks, it's at the 25 to 29 liter capacity that you will see much larger main compartments that can fit multiple large books and binders or have enough room to pack for a multi-day trip. Backpacks in this size also make great work and gym backpacks because they allow you to carry both your daily work items like a laptop and business papers, plus a change of clothes and toiletries. Finally, we have large backpacks that are between 30 and 39 liters. 
Backpacks at this size are where you'll start to see larger laptop sleeves at 17 or even 18 inches, as well as really large main compartments that can fit multiple days worth of clothing. It's also common to see a backpack with more than one main compartment. Here I have the 30 liter North Face Recon, which can fit one pair of large headphones, two hoodies or sweaters, a water bottle, one small book, one DSLR camera insert, one large textbook, two one inch binders, and a laptop. Compare that to the larger 35 liter Jansport Big Student and you can easily see the jump in capacity with the addition of a pair of shoes and a pencil case. The 30 to 39 liter range is also where you'll start to see a lot of carry-on travel backpacks because this capacity is a sweet spot between having lots of packing room without being too large to carry. Now, for most people, a 35 liter to 39 liter backpack might be overkill, but I do recommend them for anyone who carries a ton of stuff on a day-to-day -day basis, or for anyone who wants a backpack that can be used for daily carry as well as travel. So let's recap. As a general rule, the larger the backpack capacity, the larger the backpack is going to be. This can impact fit, Larger people will benefit from having a larger backpack. Smaller people might want to stick with smaller backpacks because they usually fit better and are more comfortable to wear. Also, a backpack's capacity is only part of the story. Its shape and design really does determine how much you can fit inside. For example, we found that the 16 liter Day Owl fit just about the same amount of stuff as the 19 liter Vent Amsterdam 2.0, even though the Amsterdam technically has a larger capacity. That's because the Day Owl has a really open main compartment with this clamshell zipper design, and the canvas material it uses allows you to really cram extra items in there. While the Vank Amsterdam is made out of much stiffer material that is less forgiving when filling the backpack up. A backpack shape and materials are something to keep in mind when determining what can really fit inside. Just because two backpacks have the same capacity doesn't mean they will fit exactly the same items. So that wraps up this backpack size guide. I hope it has helped you at least get an idea of the different backpack capacities and what you can expect when buying a new backpack online. If you are interested in any of the backpacks shown in this video, we will leave links in the video description. And if you want to check out more backpack reviews and buying guides, make sure to check us out at backpackies.com. I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.